Enrico De Marinis, I am a scientific director of DUNE and uh, the project we have been involved in is Smart, Smartfire PCP, which was launched by the Belgian Ministry of Interiors and was uh, the, pro the procurers were the French firefighters, the UK firefighters and the German firefighters. This PCP, Smartfire, uh, was focused on one basic problem, which is the security, the safety, and the effectiveness of the operation of firefighters. Every year, more than 100 firefighters lose their lives, and even more are wounded during the operations. So, all over the world, is, there is increasing need for new equipment for firefighters. New textile, smart textiles, body sensors, for, for instance, to monitor uh, heart pace, breathing, stress status, and so on. And also for localization systems, because most of the interventions made by firefighters are inside buildings, where GPS on other satellite location system doesn't work. If you look at the nature of the existing, and I have to say very well performing, indoor localization solution, you discover that basically all of them are infrastructure-based solution. In the sense that in the environment, there are a lot of devices that could be Wi-Fi hotspots or RIF tags and so on, deployed in the environment. They are very, very suitable for uh, environments such as, for instance, malls, or airport, museums, and so on. But they are, they are totally unuseful, unsuited for first responders operation, or for firefighters, because they are high risk and time critical operation. So they have no time at all to deploy infrastructure, to set up radio beacons, antennas, and so on. So the major requirements of firefighters is to have a infrastructure independent system. So there must be something, typically pocket size device, that the firefighters can be easily put on his body and uh, with a switch on and forget paradigm. So the procurement, the PCP, was asking for something completely different from what you find in the market something infrastructure-free solution. Our solution about indoor localization system, as a name, is called Arianna, and uh, oversimplifying it is based on three layers. The first one is a sensor layer, which is inertial uh, sensor, which is typically placed on the foot, is fastened on the foot of the firefighter. It's just um, made sort of pre-processing of the raw data coming from the initial sensor. Then the raw data are sent to the second layer, which is the processing layer, the local processing layer, which is in charge of very sophisticated and very heavy mathematical processing. And uh, let's say that at the end of this process, uh, you get the three-dimensional information of the position of the firefighter. Then the third layer, which probably is uh, the most straightforward is simple, is uh, the transmission layer, the communication layer, which is in charge of conveying this information to a remote command and control center. We have four patents on these new algorithms that uh, are beyond the state of the art. And they, this gives to us also a commercial and marketing advantage with respect to our potential competitors. We, with the cooperation of the Italian firefighters, we made a simulation in a huge 6,000 square meters building, and we simulated first a firefighter walking in this, uh, randomly walking in this area. The command and control center at this point, during this simulation, sent another firefighter 
and guiding him, saying just, okay, 20, ma 20 meters right, or two, or now turn on the left, now go to the first floor, and so on, was able to guide precisely the second firefighter in charge of rescuing the first one. And after only three minutes, he was able to find the first wounded firefighter and rescue him. Our team running for a smart fire was basically a Czech team. There was a Plycon, there was the University of West Bohemia, Hulik, old company belonging to uh, Czech Republic, and we in Dune, which is an Italian company. So summing up everything, we have a very, very positive uh, um, uh, opinion about this instrument. We gain trust by the end users. We understood a lot about the operational requirements of the end users. That has been for us a really great value of the PCP. And this gave us a very uh, improvement in our positioning in a competitive market. A few years ago, uh, our deployment was basically uh, zero. We had only in uh, our system for our own laboratory test. Now our system has been deployed and tested in uh, United States, in Austria, in France, United Kingdom, in Italy, Taiwan, China. We start to increase our commercial contacts, commercial links and so on. We had the first very big, very important procurements from uh, one organization of the United Nations. This is uh, out of doubt that uh, the, our participation in the PCP has shortened a lot our time to market.